that? The fire alarm's going off. Hold on. Hang on, A. That was weird. I don't know. It's going off again, you guys. What is it? Okay, my child has never vacuumed the stairs. You go, you just go like this. Just repeat, please. Show them what you did. Bradley don't want to drive. <laughs> She said a parking lot. Every oh, Nat went off for no reason. Is that what it is? <laughs> Worst case, we can play with that one. I don't care. I mean, it's the only it's pumped up. Yours is flat. Let's play with hers. Okay. What is that? Fire alarm's going off. Hold on. Hang on, A. You may open the garage door again and see if that was it. Okay. Tell Aiden I'll be right there. How long did you live in the garage before? Um, we walked out there to get the ball. So it was like this. But we were in the house for a while and then went outside because I had to get my shoes on. I don't think it's heat from the garage door because we live in the garage door, but like this whole summer it's been hot. Why would it just randomly go off? Yeah, because we were in the backyard playing. I don't know how long has it been going on. I mean, not that long because I was laying in my bed and all of a sudden I heard it. And at, at first I was laying there and I was like, are they cooking? And then I heard y'all kicking ball, a ball outside. So I was like, okay, so they're not there. So I jumped out of bed and I ran downstairs and it was going off in here. So I ran outside to get you. Oh, well, the garage door's open. It's not going off I mean, now. It hasn't, been, it hasn't been off that long. Like it just went you know, this one's very sensitive. Oh, only yeah. when you're cooking, though. Yeah, only when there's it's like, not really like, sensitive like, any other time. Yeah, only when there's like like a little bit of steam will go off. There's no, nothing like not smoke or steam or anything. I mean, I just got back on my car. I'm coming. We're just trying to figure out why the smoke alarm went off. I don't know. I mean, we didn't have this broken probably that long. I'm coming. I don't know what it was. It's random. Oh, that was weird. I don't know. Sorry it woke you up. I'm glad you heard it. We're all outside. And you know, I heard something beeping, but I didn't even think it was anything. I don't yeah. know. I was thinking it was like the neighbors. Something They I were doing heard something. It, so I lay there for a second. And then I was like, they might just be cooking. And then I heard Aiden kick a ball and like, you know, like giggle yeah. or whatever. Cause I can hear, cause I'm like right outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I heard him and I was like, okay, they're outside. I was like, that's weird. So I jumped out of bed, I ran downstairs and well, I came you. in here and I heard it. So I went to the back door and I was like, fire alarm's going off inside. That was weird. I don't know what it was. I don't know what I, it was I mean, literally, 
I'm coming. Literally what I did is I started laundry. I started my sheets. Got done with that, put on my shoes, went, got the ball, came back in, did a couple things, went outside, and we just started kicking the ball. So I really don't know what it could have been that set it off. If it goes off again, I don't know. Like, random. It sounded like a car alarm. Yeah, it sounded like a car alarm. That's why I didn't even think about it. And then, sure enough, their fire detector's going off. And it's going off again, you guys. What is it? Here, let me help you. Like, seriously, it's got me stressed out. Watch out. Watch out. Oh, gosh, you're on the TV. Oh, sorry. What is it? <laughs> Are these? I didn't know if you heard it. No, I did. Sorry, sorry, I'm not serious to come tell you. <laughs> Hang on, I'm coming. What in the world, you guys? Why does it keep going off? <sighs> I don't know. That's so random. Right as you said, if you hear it again, tell me, and then it just... It went off. We're going to try this again. Every time we start to kick the ball, it goes off. So, if it goes off again, maybe it's telling us we don't need to be outside. Is that what you're thinking? But we do. Yeah, but maybe that's why. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Mommy's just guessing. You're right. Aiden has his shirt on backwards. Hey, what? He does that a lot. Come here. What? Come here. It trips me out. He does it all the time. Boy. Come here. Right. <laughs> Change your shirt. I don't know, man. You do that like all the time. Okay, so I have figured out why the alarm's going off. It just did it again. Um, Aiden went outside the garage to put the ball up and it went off again. So it's every time we're opening the garage door. I don't know you guys, it's kind of odd. I don't see any smoke in our garage. So I honestly don't know why it would be doing that. Briley did read that if the battery's weak, it could cause it to get a false positive from different triggers i guess heat or whatever so maybe it's just that but it's not that hot in the garage it's been much hotter before is what i'm saying and it's never gone off so i don't know What did you just ask me about that vacuum? You just... You do what? Okay, my child has never vacuumed the stairs. You go, you just go like this. Yeah, so what? Do you have a question? She's making sure. No, what did you say in the kitchen? Just repeat, please. Show them what you did. Show them what you did. So... So... I mean, I said, never mind. 
You make... don't know how to do it. No, I do. Okay. Just... You got this. Okay. Right. Kind of know. Sort of, kind of know. Let me show you. So when you do the steps, I mean, you could totally stand here and go, you know, but it's easier if you turn it around because you're right-handed like me. And then you start here, go like this, and then I do the corners. So it's more like here, here. So then I go, I go here, and then I turn it, and then I go here, here, and then I move on. This vacuum is not as good as the one upstairs. If you want to go get the other one, it honestly works better. The head on this one moves so much, it's hard to do the stairs. Go get the Dyson. But yeah, you think you can handle it? Yeah. All right, all right, I can handle it. Right? Mm -hmm. I can handle it. Okay. <laughs> Aiden's gonna start singing. So we are cleaning house, my friends. Cleaning house. And that's all I've done today. And I didn't vlog it, because I figured it would bore the mess out of you because it totally bores me when I do it. Um, I feel accomplished, you guys. I cleaned both bathrooms top to bottom. I mean, showers and all, baseboards, whew, everything. Pledged all the furniture upstairs except Aiden's room. I knew I forgot somebody's room. Bradley did hers, I did mine, and then I did like other areas upstairs, like the banister and stuff. And then I forgot Aiden, so I gotta go back up there. But I told Briley, I said, go ahead and vacuum downstairs. It'll help me out so, so much. So she gave me this look like, what? You know, teenager, right? And I'm like, oh, no, ma'am. I need you to, for real, vacuum, please. So she is. I knew she'd help me out. I just like giving her a hard time. But she's so funny with the vacuum. She's like, now how do I do the stairs? <laughs> I'm like, come on, girl. It don't take that much. Just think. How do you think you do the stairs? Anyway, the Dyson is easier on the stairs, I will say, than the other vacuum, because the other vacuum, it pivots so bad, the head of it. So, yeah, now she's getting it done right here. Let's go check on her. I'm, like, out of breath. I've been running everywhere all over this house. There she is, guys. She's doing it. Fourth time the alarm went off. I have to throw some boxes outside in the garage, and it's... I mean, I'm going to get Mary to change the battery, and if that don't fix it... We gotta get a new fire alarm. Didn't even go outside that time. Didn't even open the door. What is going on? Oh, please stop. I'm so glad when I left this morning, it didn't go off with you guys here by yourself. Y'all have freaked out. Both y'all, both of them were in bed. Yeah, I left. I ran to the store and I came back and so glad that I didn't go off while I was gone. Kayla's home and tells me she has something to give me. Are you in trouble at school? I said, you need to give these to, do you live by yourself? I was like, no, they're like, you need to give these to your parents. Can I be a parent real quick? No. You missed one? One point out of. Well, that's not good enough, Kayla. That's not good and enough, Kayla. I have this one that just got revealed Woo! 94 well, that's good a, B, is this trigonometry yeah a on my last one i just did it that's trig on there yeah. too this is one i just turned today and you thought you weren't gonna get it i got an a and two b's that's my grade so far so why were you stressing it's i'm stressed i know it's hard because we can't use our notes so i gotta remember um, all these formulas and study just start studying 20 out of 25 dang Oh, Bradley, stop. She did good. Lower than an oh. 80, you're going to get your phone taken away. Are you taking it away from her? I will take it away from her, yes. Bradley's going to be a strict parent. Take my phone away from me because I can't get to school. I got to have a GPS. Yeah, Mary, she can't get to school. You got to have GPS to get to school. You've been going for a month. <laughs> yes. <laughs> in the morning when there's so much traffic. I exactly, see, I need my, are. exactly. That's what I tell mama. Every time she takes my phone, I'm like, mama, I need it for school. Mom. Why do you need it for school? I don't know how to get there. Bradley, it is right there at that table. I think you can make it. I get all the way from my bedroom to that table without my phone. Are you crazy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, no. Yes, Aiden. And then I wake up late and she's like, Bradley, why are you messing that up? I'm like, well, I don't have an alarm for my room, Mom. You don't even set 
ripped your alarm. And he goes up, and I'm like, oh, shut up. And then I go back to sleep. Oh, my goodness. You were late this morning, friend. But I got up at like, I woke up at 6.45. Yes, Aiden. Randomly, thank God. Can I go look and see if they didn't pass change, but then get off and wait for my friend? Are they not home yet? Okay, go ahead. I have to study for my permit test. I don't want to take it. Her driving portion's coming up real soon. And I don't want to take it. I hope it doesn't happen during the week we're on vacation or I don't know what we're going to do because we're going to have to reschedule it. I've not missed a vacation. I Probably don't want to drive. I have to drive <laughs> on the real roads, Kayla. Do you know how scary <laughs> you think they're going to take you? She's in a parking lot. They don't even, they literally pull into your driveway and you have to back, you're at the back no, of the driveway. No, Actually. No, we start at the school. Yes. What? They yeah. start, you meet them at the school and they pick up at school. So I have to take her there. Well, honestly, and then I gotta figure my so way around there. Sense. I don't even it know does. Yeah. I don't even know where I have to go. I don't even know my way around the place. I'm like, excuse me, you're no, gonna make a right. Tell They'll tell you where to go. Like, you get up to the intersection, you're gonna make a right. And then you gotta turn your turn signal on if you don't turn that on. Oh, no, duh. Like, I'll get my per. <laughs> Maybe. I might get my permit. We hope she does. And then it'll probably just sit on my desk and collect dust. And keep that. I don't want to drive. If Briley light, has no desire. If the scared. light turns yellow, <laughs> don't press the gas to gun it through like I did. Well, no doubt. Because they will slam on brakes. I'm like, I just don't know. Mama, I'm scared. Well, you're going to be scared. you driving on the main road. Oh, yeah, oh, you yeah, will. Mama said we're yeah, they start you on baby. It's like one day you're country, next road yeah. you're on the bigger roads, and the next one you're on the bigger, bigger roads. You're road. like, so you'll, you'll, go, you'll go downtown. You'll do parallel you'll, parking. You'll probably get up to 70 <laughs> on a road. You'll do <laughs> parallel parking. Yes, bro, honey, yes. Sure, I'll be honest like with you. It's like key stuff, like really parallel can. side yeah. or whatever. We, our kind of roads now are just so difficult that it's like. I'm going to be honest with you. When I. When I was younger, I was like, yeah, I'm ready to drive. But now that I have children, I think 15 is really young. <laughs> I really do. I just feel like you're not mature enough until you're over 18. Like, I have the animal do something wrong and she's going to be like, no. Failed. No, it's not a pass or fail. I have to with somebody else. What if they can't drive? Then I don't have to have a break. See, the thing is, I feel like that is like having somebody in the back seat. I feel like that should makes you nervous. just makes you even more nervous. I feel like they shouldn't do that. You think it should be one-on-one? -on -one? I think it should be like one-on-one. You can do one-on-one -on -one if you pay for a private. Well, I know, but I'm saying, like, I feel like just having one person in the car is so much easier than having a person in the back seat. Cause, like, then it just makes you nervous. Like, oh my gosh, they're probably like thinking in their head, oh, this person can't drive. You know what I I'm saying? I didn't care when I mean, the other people were driving. I just sat in the back like, okay, we're driving. I didn't even give it. I didn't, like, care. Like, I wasn't <clears> scared. Look, here's the thing. If you fail, you fail. If you pass, you pass. If you want to drive, you drive. And if you don't, you don't. I'm not going to... Look, pass, I... Even if you got to drive. I know, I know. I at least just want to get my permit. That's it. But I'm scared because, like, what if I miss a question? Like, what if I miss, like, you know... You I have think Bradley's going to have a hard time with the actual test. Yeah. Probably. Well, she has test anxiety. Yeah. So, we'll just see. But I will say Sorry. this. Yeah, I've learned my lesson. I made Kayla drive when she was 15. Mm -hmm. No, were you 16 or 15? 15. 15. I made her drive, and I learned my lesson that if she says I'm not comfortable, don't let her. She had been driving. She had been doing really good. She had Briley. I did enjoy driving when I was 15. No, I don't think Briley is either. And she wrecked the car. She ran right into somebody. Pulled out of a parking lot, nailed them, gassed it, didn't break. I am a way better driver. Like, I'm not. Now you're older, you're more mature. When I was 15, I was a very, I wasn't timid. Defensive driver. I was mm -mm. very just nervous right behind the wheel. Like yep. I did not like there was too much going on. And also, Briley and Aiden were a lot younger, so Mama was a stay-at-home mom. So when I drove, we had to take them all. The <laughs> so that yeah. also made me nervous. Like all I could think of is if I get in a wreck, and let's say everyone doesn't make it. It's gonna be unless I was the last one that made it. It's no, gonna be my you fault. You can't think that way. But hey, that's just how I think. I know. It was a baby. Of, it was yeah. thinking back about it now, but it was kind of funny. Literally, Kayla was we were sitting in a parking lot. She literally backed out of the parking space, got to the end of the driveway to leave the place that we were at, and just bam, there. It happened I mean, right there. hit the gas. Hit the because gas. I was breaking, and Mama goes break. So I'm like, what? Well, yeah. I break it. So I press the gas because I mean, she like girl. threw me she off. I, and I already, we sat 
sat in that parking lot for five minutes. I was like, no, oh, I don't want to drive. I don't want to drive. She's like, hey, let's just drive. I was like, no, I want to no. drive. She's like, just do it. It was you got so, to drive, and I was like, I don't want to drive. It was so funny. As soon as Kayla hit that car, the first thing she did, she put it in. Did you put it? Yeah, she put yeah, it. Yeah, she put it. No, she, I think, honestly, Mama threw it in I car think I threw it in yeah, car. Yes, yes, but I hit the car, then break. No, as yeah, soon as Kayla wow. hit the car, Mama put it in break, and as soon as, Ka or park, mm -hmm. as soon as Mama put it in park, and this is what Kayla does, she's sitting there, and she just goes, Mama, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, and I. The back seat, screaming, crying. Actually, they weren't, until Briley goes, you just wrecked the car. And then here goes Briley, here goes Aiden, and I call Barry, and I'm like, Kayla just wrecked the car. You're going to have to come meet us. It was a hot mess. It wasn't that calm. It was a hot It was, I was not super irritated. I cried. Kayla cried. cried. Yeah. Because I'm like, I'm Don't stress. Everybody drives in their own time, and if you don't feel comfortable, you don't feel comfortable. I'm just scared for the, for the part where, like, taking the test and stuff. Like, I'm scared of, like, not getting my purpose. Study. Just study. All you can do is study, and if you fail, you can take it again. Just keep that in mind. So poor Kayla went to McDonald's after dinner to pick us up a hot fudge sundae. So anyway, Kayla goes through the, through the drive-thru and she's like, I need, you know, five hot fudge sundaes with extra hot fudge. She gets some, gets up to the thing, and there's like no hot fudge on them. It is like, I mean, when I say no hot fudge and she paid extra for the hot fudge and she goes oh um these are actually supposed to have extra hot fudge they said oh okay well, we can't take them back so just keep them we'll remake them so the funny thing is we also added m&ms to them and briley got oreo so we had four m&ms one oreo and they told her to pull up let them remake them and they get them right out to us so kayla pulls up they bring them out and what about they're all Oreo but one? So they made them wrong. I was like, Kayla, just come home. Girl, it's okay. It's really okay. I felt bad they didn't take the other ones back. But I said, you know what? We'll find somebody to eat them. Put them in the freezer. Eat them tomorrow. I don't know. Oh, so that was funny. She goes, Mama, I am not telling them to remake them. I said, don't. No, they're fine. Just come home. So she's on the way back with like 10 ice creams. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <Ice cream party. laughs> oh my gosh you can sit up there what in the world i told them what happened like hot mess like, okay like this <laughs> where's the hot fudge that's for extra i know pay for extra this is what they should look like so which ones are with this is the good one i just moved into this cup holder okay these are the bad ones these are the new well ones. they're not bad they're not fudgy. They're not fudgy enough for you. Y'all all ask for extra hot fudge. Yeah, so whoa. Got extra what hot are we doing with all these guys? Oh my gosh. Take them, like, to the neighbors. We should like invite somebody over, have an ice cream party with us. <laughs> Kayla was just freaking out. Every time you go in the garage, it goes off. <laughs> the fire the alarm just went off tonight. again. I went in the garage earlier that didn't go off. It's gone off that's the seventh time. The first Today. time I heard it, it woke me up from my sickness room. Yeah. Okay, I was about to say, do I need to start grabbing stuff and we run out the door? Well, I don't know what's wrong with it. I was quite, it's not even hot outside. I know. It's done it all day. Okay. I don't even, I hadn't even been in the garage hardly. Because I really was freaking out. Don't freak out. I didn't freak out this morning. I, I was literally like, walked, I didn't take off my shoes. Literally, you hear the alarm? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, literally casually, I literally like casually straight down the stairs, down the stairs and opened that door. I was like, Mom, the fire alarm's going That's on. That's not why it came out though. That's why? Can you get me a little water, please? I'm a little thirsty. He wants a little water. They're in the garage. Please. So if you go in and out the door, do it quick. Maybe it won't go off again. We'll see. It just went off again. <laughs> Who got it to go off? Kayla. It stopped. Oh, no, it stopped. As soon as I close the door, it stopped. Open the door and shut it again. No, no, no. Give me my water. Maybe we shouldn't go out the garage. Maybe it's a sign. That's what I was telling um, Aiden today. I said, should we not be outside? Because every time we open the door, it goes off. Every time. Oh. <laughs> now it went off for no it reason. Because I'm so hot. Is that what it is? It is. <laughs> That's what it is. Watch. Hold on. Oh my gosh, it's loud. I don't know. Oh, yeah, watch. It's me. Are you that hot that it goes off when you're around? I don't know why it keeps going off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>